Welcome to Cosmos Paint. We are a channel focused on works of art. And we believe that a color palette is the sublime expression of sense and meaning in artistic aesthetics. It is with pleasure that we present the Norwegian painter, Edvard Munch, who was born on December 12, 1863 and died on January 23, 1944. Munch is one of the forerunners of Impressionism and Expressionism, and the core of his art is symbolism. He studied at the Oslo School of Arts and Crafts, coming under the influence of Gustave Courbet and Edouard Manet. So, if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, with that artistic touch, subscribe now. Share with friends and family. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell, to receive notification of new videos, as we publish daily at 10 am. To talk about Edvard Munch we would need an incalculable amount of time, therefore, in this video we will present just a small perspective of the work of this genius artist. We will do here on the channel, a series of brief analyzes of some of Munch's main works. Then, with the work The Sick Girl, a work of 1885, Munch starts a theme that would emerge as a line of force throughout his artistic path. He made numerous variations of works that clearly and unmistakably reflected his feelings about illness and death. Illness and death marked Munch's life, and assumed a vast meaning, transformed into images that revealed the fragility and transience of life. He experienced the fragility and transience of life in an unimaginable way. His mother died when he was five years old. His older sister died at 15 years old. His younger sister suffered from mental illness and another sister died months after getting married. Edvard himself was constantly ill. Edvard Munch discovers in Paris the work of Vincent van Gogh, Paul Gauguin and Toulouse-Lautrec, and undoubtedly his style then undergoes major changes. His best-known composition, The Scream, a work from 1893, is part of the series The Freeze of Life, in which Munch explored the themes of love, fear, death, melancholy and anxiety. This work was painted when Edvard was 30 years old. The Scream, considered his greatest work, and one of the most important in the history of Expressionism. The painting depicts anguish and despair, and was inspired by the artist's disappointments in both love and his friends. The series The Freeze of Life is noteworthy, and recurs throughout Munch's oeuvre, in paintings such as The Sick Girl, a work from 1885, Love and Pain, which became known as The Vampire, and has six versions, and Ashes, a work from 1894. The work Love and Pain is another work of great relevance in the Edvard Munch catalogue. It was made between 1893 and 1895. This work was titled The Vampire by Stanislaw Pshibyshevsky, a friend of Munch, but never by himself. The painting shows a man and woman embracing, with the woman appearing to be kissing or biting the man on her neck. Munch would paint six different versions of the same subject. Three versions are in the collection of the Munch Museum in Oslo, one is held by the Gothenburg Museum of Art, the other is owned by a private collector, and the final work has not been reported. The series The Girls on the Bridge cannot fail to be mentioned. It's a theme Munch returned to repeatedly over a period of nearly 30 years. The composition is more or less unchanged. However, as far as the girls are concerned, Munch has made a number of changes to the various versions, for example turning the nearest girl dressed in white to the opposite side, or adding a fourth girl to the group. The version The Girls on the Bridge from 1927, is very similar to the first version from 1901, which belongs to the National Gallery in Oslo. The Girls on the Bridge is considered one of Munch's most harmonious and lyrical images. While not having erotic undertones, the three girls are looking at the water where the large tree, 
which can be interpreted as a phallic symbol, mirrors itself in the summer night. Finally, viewers who are not familiar with Monk's work need to be aware that featureless faces and distorted figures are part of his paintings. In the continuity of the presentation, enjoy this rich selection, because here we talk about art with devotion, emotion, and a lot of research, to bring our viewers content that is good for the eyes and the soul. Because for us, art is existence. <laughs>